Welcome to another episode of The Drop, the weekly show that lets you know the hottest games coming out across PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC. And this week we have Outriders as our headliner coming from People Can Fly and published by Square Enix. It looks to be a very exciting time, especially for Game Pass subscribers who get this one on day one for free with their subscription. On top of that, Narita Boy is also launching and Kingdom Hearts is coming to PC, and we have plenty of honorable mentions as well, and we're sprinkling in some DLC. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Outriders is a one to three player co-op RPG shooter set in an original dark and desperate sci-fi universe. As mankind bleeds out into the trenches of Enoch, you'll create your own Outrider and embark on a journey across the hostile planet. With rich storytelling spanning a diverse world, you'll leave behind the slums and shantytowns of the first city and traverse forests, mountains, and deserts in the pursuit of a mysterious signal. Combine intense gunplay with violent powers and an arsenal of increasingly twisted weaponry and gear sets, Outriders offers countless hours of gameplay from one of the finest shooter developers in the industry, People Can Fly. And now, some bullet points. Intensity of a shooter, depth of an RPG. Outriders' brutal and bloody combat combines frantic gunplay, violent powers, and deep RPG systems to create a true genre hybrid. A dark and desperate journey. Discover the hostile planet of Enoch as you embark on a journey to the source of a mysterious signal. Dynamic 1-3 player co-op. Play single player or join up to two friends in drop-in drop-out co-op as you tackle the horrors of a hyper-evolved planet. Four unique classes, create and customize your own Outrider and choose from four unique classes, each with its own skill tree to define your own play style. And finally, scavenge and adapt. Customize and upgrade your Outrider with countless items of moddable guns and gear as you leave humanity behind. If you want to dive into Outriders, a free demo is available now and you can play through the first few hours of what you can expect to experience, but from what I have seen, it's basically a blend of Gears of War and Destiny, where it has light RPG elements, but it is also a cover-based shooter at its core. I think there's enough variety here for people to keep coming back, but ultimately, this is going to be a game that proves it's worth over time. Once again, I want to reiterate, if you are a Game Pass subscriber, you can get this as a console perk, not available on PC, unfortunately. That seems to be part of the deal with Square Enix that Microsoft has struck. But if you do want to dive into Outriders, which is one of the biggest releases of the spring so far, you can check it out on PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, Series X and S, Switch, and PC later this week on April the 1st. Next up, Narita Boy comes to PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC, and Narita Boy is also coming to Xbox Game Pass for those subscribers. Flashback to the 80s, the creator, a genius of his time, creates a video game console called Narita One, with its flagship title being a game called Narita Boy. Narita Boy becomes a tremendous hit. Copies of cartridges are flying off physical shelves worldwide. Within weeks, Narita Boy is the best-selling video game of all time, critically acclaimed for its power fantasy wielding the Techno Sword and taking players on a journey like no other. Meanwhile, inside the binary code, the digital realm connects with reality. Him has returned and deleted the creator's memories. Supervisor program Motherboard and her agents have activated the Narita Boy's protocol. The stallions are coming, and the digital kingdom needs a hero. Become symphonic in Narita Boy, a radical action adventure as a legendary pixel hero trapped as a mere echo within the digital kingdom. Discover the mysteries behind the Techno Sword, lock swords with the corrupt and tainted stallions, and save the world. Pixel Perfectionist, the shining example of a perfectionist at work, experience the visuals of a retro era brought to life with hand-drawn animations. Explore the mysteries of the digital kingdom, venture up, down, left, and right to discover the darkest depths of the broken binary code in this never-ending story. There is an ending to the story they want you to know and make that very clear. Max out the Trichroma. Equipped with the only weapon available to defeat the stallion threat, take the Techno Sword and plunge it into the digital hearts of your enemies. Do not let this empire strike back. Be the true Blade Runner. Did you like that? Did, did you catch all that 80s? Oh yeah, I like that. Die hard enemies. Face foes only imagine in your darkest fever dreams and show those bosses the bites. Fight off against tons of totally radically and awesome bosses. Become a boss terminator by overcoming the deadly crab, dragon bot, black rainbow, and so much more. Sounds of the retrograde times. Feel fresh waves of scent wash over you while traveling the digital kingdom. 
with Kick and Beat that will send you back to the future. If you're wanting a huge dose of 80s, that's exactly what you are going to be getting with Narita Boy. Have not had time to check out too much of the gameplay, but from what I am seeing here, it is going to be that classic kind of Metroid approach where the combat is very simplistic, but it is going to be familiar with those that enjoy those old school retro games. Looking forward to trying this one out, and again, since it's on Game Pass, that gives plenty of people the opportunity to dive in and check it out, but you can play it on PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC when it launches later this week. Finally, tons of Kingdom Hearts games are coming to PC. The iconic Kingdom Hearts series is finally on PC. Start your journey and join Sora and friends as they fight against the darkness in beloved Disney and Pixar worlds. The games coming out this week include Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 Remix, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, Kingdom Hearts 3 Plus Remind, and Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. These are coming to PC as Epic Game Store exclusives, so be aware of that if you are planning on picking them up. Do not look for them on Steam, though they could launch on Steam at some point in the future. But this is the first time that Kingdom Hearts is going to be available on PC, so I know a lot of people have been excited about that. And again, if you do want to check out what Kingdom Hearts has to offer, most of the series, most of the biggest games are coming to PC this week. Before we go, we have some honorable mentions. First off, The Binding of Isaac Repentance comes to PC. It's a huge DLC that's so big it's almost its own game, and it is going to be coming to Switch and PlayStation later this year. Disco Elysium The Final Cut comes to PS4 and PC. I Saw Black Clouds comes to PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Tennis World Tour 2 Complete Edition comes to PS5 and Xbox Series X with those next generation upgrades, and Hitman 3 Seven Deadly Sins Greed is the first DLC for one of this year's biggest games, and it comes to PS4, Xbox One, and PC. That wraps up this week's episode of The Drop. If you enjoyed the show, drop me a like down below, and let me know what games caught your eye this week. Will you be picking anything up, or are you saving your money for something in the big spring or summer release seasons? Let me know what games you are looking for forward to below. But until next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon and peace.